Hey, orange one here. So we have arrived at um, the hub again. We're gonna we're gonna talk to these guys. So yeah, um, see if they'll become my friends this time because I want to explore them and kind of see what they're all about. Um, let's see. Hold on, what? Maybe I can help you. Okay, they're talking or something. Okay, they've got some use. Okay, all right. Okay, so this is like a quest. Okay, so don't try and fight it head on because it'll kill me, but then there was something about they say there was a locker full of EMPs or something? I'm pretty sure he said something about a bunch of EMPs. Did I already grab them or something? I feel like I may have already grabbed EMPs that were maybe around here. Hmm. Is there a way for me to check the dialogue? Okay, so, um, yeah, okay, so also check, we've, we're having a little bit of the radiation problem, can't really hang out in any one location because I am constantly generating radiation due to our mutations, kind of a problem. We might need to mutate um, to stop that, we might need to purify, I don't know, because I, do I have my Geiger counter on me? I do. Okay, so I'll, sh I'll show you what I mean. So if I, I scan myself, I'm at 164, which is... I mean, I might just start mutating from that, honestly. Um, Harvey's at 100. I don't think he's going to mutate from that, but it's definitely not a good level. Okay, so the quest... That's the field data. Okay, so that's the quest that we're trying to do. And they wanted me to use an EMP on the thing. If I just straight up blow it up, I bet, like... Yeah, they're gonna be mad, huh? Okay, yeah, I would really like those. But I'm gonna need, like, some sort of backpack or something. This, uh, this, that could work. Is there anything that's not filthy? Oh, okay, let's get the filthy backpack on then. Sure, whatever. I can only have one at a time. Okay, well that's gonna be interesting. Let's see if I can get a visual on... Um, I, I probably should kill that zombie actually, really quick. Zombie, come here. One's down. Okay. There, was there another one around here? No, I don't see another one. Okay. I'll have to remember to pull up that later, but I'm just going to head up to our, our mission and see, see what's going on with this. I haven't heard anything about these missions, so yeah, we might be able to run some uh, zombies into the robot. Actually, there's a pretty good sized group of zombies there. Prototype robot. Let's have a look at this thing. Has it got guns or is it just like a melee thing? Is is what I'm I'm curious about. I'm hearing a powerful drill revving. Is that it using a drill? Yeah, I think it just killed um, a zombie pretty easily there. Yep, we got a Krosif. Um, got some other things as well that I would really like if we could get them to come over here. Can I... Um, is there a horn on this? No. Maybe I could open the door and take like a shot at them or something. 
Yeah, let's do that just for a second. Uh, do I have my gun? Oh, I do not. I wield that. Kind of want to just draw them. Uh, hold on. Let me just see the prototype. Are they coming towards me? They are. We're just gonna take a shot at the this guy. I'm honestly not, not even gonna try and hit. I just wanted to get the sound going. And now we're gonna bounce out. Because that should draw zombies over towards our prototype robot friend here. And that, I think they should fight each other. I don't think we need to use an EMP. Let's see, where are you? Prototype. Yep, okay. And it's actually... I hurt them. Uh, it's killed the corrosive. Now let's see how it does against the skeletal. Wow, it... it okay, so it's like a punchy robot thing. Okay. Well, I think I could probably take it out with the EMP then if it's a punchy robot pretty safely, but I'm just curious if the skeletal juggernaut's going to take it out for me or not, or if I should get in there myself. Yeah, let's, let's, let's get in there ourselves. It seems pretty safe. It's not like shooting anything. And we've got our, our friend here too. It's not really doing that much damage to the Skeletal Juggernaut, either. So... I mean, it's, it's destroying the other things, though, is, is the thing that we do have to keep in mind. We do have a Necromancer there. Um, let's see, can I wield the EMP? Yes, I can. Yep, wear that, please. That's perfect. Oh, they're now punching it a little bit. It seems to be really tough. I, I understand why they're telling us to use the EMP on it. I think that this is... I, I don't know what's the blast radius on these things. Does it tell you? I, I can't remember if they tell you the blast radius anymore. Or if they ever did. Um, doesn't really say. I think we can get really close to it, though. I'm gonna let it kind of run towards the zombies and I think now we can activate that and we can throw it kind of okay let's maybe go a little bit more I didn't know that you can't really throw it very far okay um, throw that there I guess and then I'm gonna run away and hopefully not get caught in the EMP blast. I mean, oh no! Get to the zombies, please. Um, maybe that stop running. Let's get our gun out. Yeah, this these zombies could probably kill this guy. I'm gonna just wait off in the distance though, and hopefully they, the prototype, um, gets caught in this EMP blast. They might not because they might get put like punched away. Possibly. Hang on a bit. Okay. Um. There we go. Oh, it killed the zombies as well. Did I get hit? I think I might have gotten hit there. I'm bleeding, apparently. Yeah, okay. Something... I don't know exactly where... The, I think the explosion was at that 4 seconds mark, right? Okay, Harvey got hit by a fragment. I got hit. My backpack got cut. I'm bleeding. I don't see bleeding, so I don't think we got... Like, bad bleeding. Looks like it killed quite a few of them. Yeah, also, um, if you look, we have weakness. That's from the radiation, so I really need to get my radiation levels down. 
Okay, these guys are gonna start kind of running towards us. I think though that we are now deaf, unfortunately. We can shoot them, but it's not really gonna do much. Harvey, stop being such a coward, please. We can kill these guys. You know, I was thinking about getting my laser rifle out. I'm not sure how the damage on that thing works now nowadays, if it's good or bad. Okay, um, looks like Harvey might be taking some steps forward. Yeah, let's do it, man. Okay, now I need to reload. Maybe I'll take some steps back first. Uh, don't get hit into the car, please. Yeah, you're gonna get hit right into that car. Yeah, this is gonna be bad for you, man. It could be bad for the car, too. There's also the other problem. Oh, man. Yeah, this guy is gonna be a problem. They're gonna knock him into the car, I can tell. Oh, can I kill this one? Yes, I kind of can. Harvey, come on, you can you can take him. You got this. Look at their health, man. Okay, now it's this one that's the the concern. Okay, yeah, come over here. Harvey, please, thank you. I'll give a little assist. Let's get the Jane out. Yeah, drop the gun. It's fine. I'm feeling pretty good about how things are going for us. I think we can get into a little melee. And our character is craving fire. That's why our focus isn't great. Okay, well, that's an easy solution. And look at that. Problem solved. Um, and I think as long as we keep on moving, the radiation isn't too much of a problem. Oh, he's bleeding. Uh oh. I did not realize that. Um, hold on. Can I use my bandage on him? Slowly losing blood. Uh, it's not that bad. Yeah, I don't see a whole lot of blood on the floor. That's the good thing is. I think that's how I'm going to be able to keep track of if he's bleeding. I don't think it was the bomb fragment, though, that, that caused that, was it? Could have been. Okay, those zombies are down. Where is our prototype friend? Are you there? Prototype IO recorder. Yeah, that would, that would be what I'm looking for. I'm just curious if I look at this. I could get a plutonium cell. I mean, that's moderately useful. It'd take two hours to get a plutonium cell. I mean, if I was not recording right now, I might do that. But I kind of want to just get the through the quest, you know? And we've got the, the quest item. Yeah. It's probably gonna get ruined when I drive over it. <laughs> Just calling it right now. Yeah, this game is so insane. I just love Cataclysm so much. This is just... What else game has, like, a world quite like this? And, like, vehicles and NPCs and mut mutation paths and all kinds of just really fun, cool, awesome sci-fi stuff. Like, just an amazing game. Speaking of which, I kind of want to get some more CBMs. Um, are, we don't have the earplugs in, no. We should have had those in earlier. Um, there's that zombie corpse, right? I, I remember talking about that and saying, oh, I need to remember to take care of that corpse. Okay, I think just because the look ballers, maybe we'll drive like that. But I want to make sure the ult Ultica towel set's looking good. I and mean, it is looking good, don't you think? 
I haven't updated in a few days. I saw there was some updates to the tile set, but I wasn't sure because I saw PK hadn't updated. So eh, I just decided to record. Oh, I'm deaf and I can't talk. That would be a problem. Um, I'm just curious about my Geiger counter levels now. Because we could make some Prussian blues. Yeah, I'm still the same. What about our friend here? How are they doing? Yeah, he's still the same too. Okay. Oh. Spitter. Where did you come from? <laughs> Problem solved. Yeah, I don't really care if we get acid on our feet. It actually might be good for us because it'd give us a little pain. Um, I'm still deaf, I guess. Maybe we'll just kind of walk around. If there's any zombies that come wandering over from that shot, we can take them out. Because I want to make sure that this place is safe, you know? Okay, so that encrusted zombie. Maybe, um... Maybe let Harvey take that guy out. How are you doing wound-wise? I think you're actually fairly wounded. Um, if I talk to you, I can't talk to him, so I can't really see how he's doing pain-wise. I'll take one shot at this guy, and then I'll let you kind of take him out. What is that that's like by my feet there? Warm and slow down. The heat slows you down. Um, yeah, I'm not really sure what to do about that. I was thinking about getting a climate control system. Oh, the zombie's bleeding. <laughs> That's awesome. I like how that mechanic works now. It looks cool. You know, you can see where they are hit and you can kind of see their path. Emergence, right? It's all about that emergent pattern. Cool. All right. Um... Yeah, we're going to have to wait a while. I don't know how long we're going to have to wait for our hearing to come back. Okay. Oh, it wasn't that long. Cool. Good. Um, yep, here it is. I'll find you another one. <laughs> yeah, no, that's, that's a dumb move. Yep, um, sure. Mercenary. Oh, I can trade with them now. What's the trade items that they have here? Some slugs, some... Oh, they got some flesh rounds. They've got a hydrogen canister. I should probably get that, if possible. There's a duffel bag with four items. That's mysterious. Um, some CBMs. Oh, they've got CBMs. And like robotic parts, it looks like. I think I have all those books, but I definitely want E. Can I see what the price is of E? 19. Okay. Um, I can easily get you something. Let's see if we can like trade alcohol. Ah. What do I have? Do I have like any like vodka or something? Maybe food. I don't think it'd be under food, but maybe it is. I'm just not sure what it would be classified as. Um, let's just search for bottles. Maybe I don't have alcohol in here. Hmm. That is bizarre. <laughs> what a bad survivor. <laughs> um, what do I want to trade then? I could trade them cough syrup. <laughs> um heartburn medication, sure. Hydrogen peroxide, sure. 
and saline solutions. I don't really have use for those yet. Let's see. I think that that's going to be more than 19 in value, so we could probably even get some cash from them. I don't know. I don't think they actually value the credit cards at places like this. Um, so let's see. Oh, they've got gold coins. So they've got their own currency here. Oh, interesting. Very interesting. Um, it's like a lot of coins. So there's more as well. Science ID card. An, an inactive skitterbot. So I could have like a friendly skitterbot just from them. That's pretty cool. That's like an in-game way of getting a skitterbot, essentially. Um, let's see. I could give them explosives. <laughs> y, Z, um, yeah, like, see, this is all, like, stuff I don't really want. So, yeah, I'll give them all of it. Anything else? I mean, they do have, actually, EMP bombs, and they actually have a couple of them. If I give them F and maybe something else, what else could I give them? I don't know why I'm carrying that book. I have a useless book. Oh, I can give them the sl uh, slime apparently is quite valuable. Okay. Uh, yeah, I'll take an EMP as well. Thank you. Hydrogen canister and EMP. Yeah, and what jobs do you need done? Steal a dead man's mind. Return field data. <laughs> sure, what's the dead man's mind? Oh my gosh. So that's actually what I just did. Isn't it? Um, okay, so, okay, so there's another one, his corpse and memory bionic might remain intact. Make a copy of his back memory unit and return. Okay, he might actually have some uh, a splicer kit. Ooh, very cool. Um, can you share some equipment? <laughs> oh man. Well, I am helping you out. That is true. Oh what? <laughs> Thank you. Is that the thing that I just gave you? Whatever. I think it's not even in the bottle either. He just like poured it out. <laughs> Interesting. Okay, there's a, a zombie there. Harvey, do you want to get him for us? There we go. Beautifully done. So where are these quests now? Oh, they're not near us anymore. Uh, looks like... That's steal a dead man's mind. Um, what's where's the other one? If I go to my quests. Oh wait, hold on. Okay, and then Doctor Prado. I don't think I ever found their corpse. So I kind of want to go back up there and see if we can deduce where. That prototype came from because I bet that there's like a science corpse or some scientist corpse around there somewhere. You know what we need to do is we need to get the uh, internal climate control CBM. That would be really nice for our character because then we could wear this heavy armor and not worry about it so much. Okay, so the prototype came from like over here somewhere. Right? They're like over in this field. Um, yes. See, this is what I'm talking about. EMP grenades. 
that's oh i'm so glad i decided to come check it out that's really cool that um they essentially give you a couple of those valuable items for free oh man this is super cool i regret not doing this sooner um yeah take both of those that's pretty cool you've got a jumpsuit and a lab coat oh man i kind of like the the sound of the outfit actually can I steal that? I'm gonna take those. The compression shorts and, and whatever. Nah. I'm gonna take the lab coat and whatnot. I, I like the sound of that outfit, so uh, we're gonna store it in here somewhere. I mean, it's actually not that big of a thing. Oh, there's, oh those are actually MP grenades, not MP bombs. Oh, so they've got actual MP grenades. That's weird because I thought that the EMP grenades were no longer an item in the game. But whatever. Cool. A mind splicer kit. Sounds healthy, right? Okay, let's eat because our character's actually hungry. Ignore. I don't know where that robot clicking is coming from. South, I'm hearing robot clicking noises. Should I go explore? Is that... Yeah, it's... Zombie. Oh, there's one of those digging robots, I think, right there. Okay, so now the question is, is do I want to go down to that quest? And I think I do, but that's, like, super far away. I think I do want to go down here and do the quest line here, but maybe we can um, do some fighting and just kind of clear out some of the, uh, the city, Cornwall. Kind of see what's over there. Kind of drive over there at the very least. Yeah, at least explore while we're in these neck of the woods, because that quest they gave us is super far away, and it's actually back towards our base as well. Oh, there's another prototype robot. Oh my gosh, you hub scientists. Okay, but well we can get more EMP here. That zombie got just, just destroyed. So the EMP grenade... Um, three seconds, okay. So basically I need to see how fast they move and anticipate like three clicks. Okay. I can do that. Let's uh let's let's try and, and deal with this guy. That'll be me and, and heart oh my gosh. I was gonna try and take care of him. Hunter killer zombie. Oh my gosh, this is insane. I don't think I'm going to have to kill this thing. <laughs> uh, maybe we'll start with that, I don't know. Yeah, let's start the next episode with this. Thank you for joining me. This has been Orange One.